So today I'm actually going to start out by doing my brows again. If you watched my last tutorial, you'll see that I started out doing my brows in that video and I mentioned how I never start out by doing my brows, but since I did it that time, I don't know, I kind of liked starting with my brows now first because I feel like it kind of kind of like defines my whole eye so that I know exactly where my crease color is supposed to go and my lid and all that stuff. So I don't know, I kind of like starting with my brows first now. So I'm just using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and this one is in the color medium brown. Sorry if you guys can hear my son talking in the back. So I always like to start out on the end of my brows and then just work my way in because that's definitely supposed to be where it's supposed to be the darkest and then towards the beginning of your brow it's supposed to be the lightest. So I always start out on the ends of my brows and I just work my way to the beginning. If you have the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, you know that it dries out. What I like to do is I just get a little drop of oil. Right now I'm just using like a face oil. I don't know, I don't really like it for my face because I feel like it breaks me out, but I just put one or two drops in the product and it makes it perfect, like brand new, even better than brand new actually because it just makes it so easy, like it literally just glides right on. To prime my lids, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I absolutely love this. Like whenever I don't know what like primer I wanna use for my lids, I go ahead and I use this one because the color is perfect. It's a very like neutral shade. So if you're someone that has like a very veiny lids or maybe a lot of redness on your lids or anything like that, if there's anything that you wanna cover, on your lids this is a perfect color I mean it kind of depends on your skin tone but I feel like this is a color that works well with like light to medium skin tones and I just love it because it covers everything up and then it's also a really good primer for your lids it's really going to help your eyeshadow stay in place all day okay so I'm gonna start out by using the Too Faced chocolate bar palette I'm gonna grab this color right over here and I'm just going to use that everywhere like from my lids all the way up to my brow bone and I'm basically just going to use it to set that um, base that I applied on my lids just to make sure that it does increase or anything which honestly you don't really have to because I feel like the MAC paint pots are really good but just to be sure and on the safe side I do like to just set it so I just use that color to set it very lightly I didn't apply too much and then oh and by the way I use the elf small tapered brush so the first color that I'm going to use is I don't know how to hold this guys the first color that I'm gonna use is this one right over here this very light brownie shade and I'm gonna use that in my crease area as my transition shade so you already know that I'm just going to go a little crazy with that color I'm basically just going to try to blow it out like diffuse it a lot I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that anyways this is my first talk through makeup tutorial I believe so if I seem a little out of it Sorry, I'm just not really used to it. So I'm grabbing that color that I just showed you and like I said, I'm just going to apply that color to my crease area and I'm basically just going to go in circular motion. Then I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth, circular motion. I am also just going to go back into the color and just build it up to the intensity that I want. I obviously don't want this color to be too dark, too intense. Mm. My throat was so scratchy. The next shade that I'm going to grab from the same palette is this one right over here. So it's a couple of shades darker than the first one. And right now I'm going to be using the Sigma Blending E25 brush. The one that I used before this one was the MAC 224 brush. And this one is a lot um, like fluffier, poofier, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Then this one, if you can tell, this one is kind of... A little bit more tapered and on the sides it's a lot skinnier and a little bit more dense than the last one which is perfect because 
I'm also going to apply this color on the outer part of my crease area but I don't want to bring it up as high as the first color so this brush is perfect because since it's dense it's not really going to get that color everywhere you kind of have a little bit more control and you can kind of focus this color more where you want it instead of it kind of just going everywhere like the first color and I always just build the colors up slowly to the intensity that I want because if I just go straight in with too much product it can get very messy it's also a lot harder to blend that out so I just suggest that you build up the color slowly so you get the amount of color or intensity pigmentation that you want now I'm gonna grab this brown shade right over here and this is the third darkest brown shade all of these colors that I've been using so far are all matte colors and if you can tell I've worked my way from a very light brown to now a very dark brown okay so now I'm gonna grab this color right over here it's the fourth darkest brown so this is already my fourth brown shade and I'm now going to apply that color again to my outer V area <sighs> how many colors are we gonna use okay this one I am definitely going to be a little bit more careful because as you can tell it's darker and I don't want this color to be all the way up to here I definitely want to focus this color right on the outer part of my eye so I'm definitely gonna try not to bring this color in too much and again like always build this what <laughs> always like I said try to build this color up slowly don't go crazy and try to just apply a bunch of color in the beginning because I promise you you're gonna make a huge mess so just try to build it up slowly, blend it out, and if you see that you still want more color, you can just go back in and apply some more. And also, I don't know if you can tell, but I barely press my brush down. I'm just using it very light-handed, just kind of really trying to blend it out. I feel like you don't really have to like press your brush down a lot to be able to blend out a color. I actually feel like that doesn't help blending out. So I always just use my brush very lightly and I feel like that helps me blend out the eyeshadows a lot easier. I'm going to go with a bronzy gold eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into this super pretty eyeshadow right over here. And I'm gonna grab this brush right over here. It's the Morphe M210 brush. It's super tiny. So I'm gonna grab some of that color and I'm going to start putting it on my lids. Oh my God. Oh my God. Some of the eyeshadow just fell in my mouth and it actually tastes like chocolate. Oh my God. It literally tastes like chocolate. Okay, now I'm going to grab some of this eyeshadow right over here and I'm just going to apply that on my lids, on the center of my lids with my finger. So I'm just grabbing some on there and then I'm just going to tap it onto my lids. I said on the center but it kind of looks like I just applied it everywhere. <laughs> so pretty much just apply it all over your lids where you applied that gold eyeshadow. I feel like it just brings a little bit more light on there. It was looking a little bit too gold, so I feel like this kind of brightened it up a little bit more. So I'm kind of done with the eyes for now. I'm just going to be getting a makeup removing wipe. This one is from Neutrogena, and I'm just going to use this to clean up the edges of the makeup. So I'm just going to start out from the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just going to do a sharp little line. I'm also going to be using this eyeshadow that is called Snatch from Urban Decay. It's a really pretty goldy, like rose gold pinky eyeshadow. And it does have a little bit of gold shimmer in it, like little gold specks. So again, I'm just going to be using my finger with this color and patting it onto my lids. I don't know why my face looks so orange right now. 
what the heck is going on? I don't know, guys. I'm now going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And I'm going to grab the black eyeshadow, this one right over here. And I'm using the Anastasia Number no. 12 brush, the one that I use for my eyebrows. And I'm just going to grab some of that black eyeshadow, pat it off so that it's not too much, so I don't have too much fallout. And now I'm just going to try to get this color as close to my lash line as possible. I'm not just going to grab this Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm just going to use that to blend, to blend out that line a little bit so that it doesn't look so harsh. All right guys, finally onto the face and I'm gonna start out by using the Nivea Man Sensitive Post Shave Balm. If you watch Nikki tutorials here on YouTube, you know why I'm using this. I'm basically just going to be using it as a primer for my face. So, oh, I kind of feel like maybe I applied too much. But I always like to start out from my nose area and then I just work my way out. Oh, I just remembered I forgot to add my brow bow color. I'll do that now. Oh, look at that pimple. We're going to cover that up right now. But my face has been breaking out so bad because I'm using my Clarisonic. I've had my Clarisonic for a very long time, but I would only use it one or two times a week. And my cousin has perfect skin she has beautiful skin and she also has a clarisonic and she told me she uses it two times a day in the morning and at night and i was like girl what because when i've used my clarisonic like three days in a row it breaks me out so bad so she told me yes that it's going to break me out but just stick through it and after like the second week my skin is supposed to clear up so that's what i'm doing i'm not doing it twice a day because i feel like my i don't know if maybe my skin is just a little bit more sensitive than hers but i feel like it actually hurts my face so i don't know if maybe that's just too much exfoliation for my skin so i'm only doing it once a day but every single day like literally seven days a week and tomorrow is actually going to be one week so right now my face is pretty bad but i'm hoping that in a couple of days it will hopefully start clearing up and my face will just look a lot better so that is why my face is just looking crazy right now and i have pimples everywhere like my face is just out of control so i did forget to add my brow bone color so i'm gonna go back into the chocolate bar palette and i'm gonna grab this color right over here it's kind of like a very light bone shade eyeshadow and i'm just going to pop that right on my brow bone okay so i just have a little sample of the Cavan d locket tattoo foundation the Grat sephora was super generous and she gave me a lot i've had this for a very long time already so i'm just using this rc cosmetic brush it's a synthetic like very pointed brush which is perfect because I'm literally just going to dot this where I have these big old pimples on my forehead. Like this one right here even hurts. Like it's so red all around that area. It really hurts, guys. So right over here and I'm going to be careful that I don't get it into my brows because I worked really hard on these brows. I don't want to mess them up. So I'm just going to be careful patting it onto that pimple. And now I'm just going to grab my finger just to blend it out a little bit more. I'm good right now. So now I'm going to go and apply my foundation and I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Longwear Foundation and I'm mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This one is too light, this one is too dark. So I'm just going to combine them both and get the perfect shade for my skin. Okay, to blend out my foundation, I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush. I'm just going to get whatever's left on my arm. Or on my hand, not my arm. And I'm just going to start blending out the foundation. actually going to go ahead and do my concealer and I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Mm -hmm. 
To set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna use the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It powder. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going, oh, Instagram number one beauty guru. Oh, girl, work in Vegas, Nay. I had no idea she was number one. But I'm gonna be using these lashes that are from Eyler that I guess Vegas Nay did with them in collaboration. And these are called Grand Glamour. I did see that she has other ones, but guys, just look at this really quick. Like, look how beautiful they look. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna apply these falsies and I will be right back. Guys, they're looking intense right now. They're looking super intense right now. I'm not used to wearing super dramatic lashes like these, but I'm gonna wing it and I'm just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and I'm just going to be applying some. Not that I need any, but this is just going to help like blend my falsies with the real lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go now and finish the rest of my eyes by doing the lower lash line. I'm gonna go into the darkest brown eyeshadow that I use and I'm using the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. So I'm gonna grab some of that very dark brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to start applying that on my bottom lash line. I'm gonna grab some of this gold eyeshadow right over here. I'm just going to grab some on that brush, tap it off a little bit and apply some down there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of rice paper right now from MAC, same brush, and I'm now going to apply that right over here on the inner corner of my eye, like right on my tear duct. Apply some mascara to your bottom lashes. I'm using, again, the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. So my eyes are starting to look a lot smaller now and they're just closing up after applying these huge lashes and applying some color on my bottom lash line. So I kind of want to open them up a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Scandal Eye Eyeliner in the color Nude. This is from Remel. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my waterline. I'm going to go into the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer right now and I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. I'm actually not going to do any contouring today. I just kind of want to bring some color back into my face so I'm just going to bronze. For blush, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown Puny Blush. It's a really bright pink blush. The brush that I'm using is the Morphe M104 brush, and I use this one for blush and also for contouring, but I'm not doing contouring today. I'm just applying my blush with it. You already know I have to apply some highlights, so I'm going to be using the Anastasia So Hollywood Highlight. It looks like this. And I'm using the Morphe M510 brush, so I'm just going to swirl it in there, tap it off, and apply it to the high points of my cheeks. Do you see that glow? Do you see that glow? Oh my god. I don't know what it is, guys, but I am so addicted to highlights lately. Okay, I'm gonna go and do my lips now. Where is my lip liner? So I'm, I'm going to be using a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. So the lip liner that I'm using is from NYX. It is natural. Then right over that, I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown lipstick that is called a Sand Wash Tool. It's a really pretty pink, like a nudie pink lipstick. And then I'm going to be using a Bobbi Brown lip gloss. It's a rich color gloss, and this one is in 2 to 